Hey everyone, it's me, Doc Raffenby, and, well, I think you may remember me saying long, long ago that sometimes there's something in there that I, can, I might miss something and it'd be right in front of my face and miss. Just there. Well, let's go. Let me show you something. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah, I didn't see this. And it's the heart-shaped key, the key we were looking for. More so, I wanted to take a look at some stuff because I've been noticing certain things not showing up that may have helped out. So come with me. We're going to be heading on a little journey to fill up this journal because for some reason I think I missed stuff and... While it is okay, while it is okay, sometimes you miss things. And when you miss things, You miss things. For instance... This I missed. And that would have helped our little puzzle, although, technically speaking, I brute forced it. Now apparently there's another journal entry I missed because, for some weird reason, I just ignored it. That's the one we are, the, the, the cartography map. So, you know, there's kind of weird stuff that happens. So yeah, this would have helped us out with the puzzle sooner. But, oh, let's see, 81, and then boom. We're also missing another one which we did, which is down here apparently. So, let us... And, yeah. So that gives us that. Would have been helpful, but, you know, we did it anyhow. <laughs> Seriously, though, it's time to go upstairs. So upstairs we go. Because we've got a heart-shaped key. I got a heart chick key. I got a heart chick key. So let's see what is needed. And there we go. Heart shaped key. And the heart shaped lock. Luckily, we don't need three gems. What's this? Strong box silver key. Dead bodies conservation method. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Because apparently I can miss things that are very, very obvious. Oh, ho. Oh. Okay, but anyhow. We have a strong silver box key. Now, if you may remember, in the attic, there was a safe. One of my guess? We gotta go up that attic, which we are right now. There's our friend, the, the box, the safe. Let's equip that. And look at that. All the safes are done. What's this? Bronze medallion. Is there anything else? Alright. Whee! Now I 
account. So, a lion. Now, let's say we should probably go to the basement, and we will. Let's see if there's anything else I'm missing. That's the locket. Don't see anything else. Okay. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Yeah, we got that. Solved that. So far, I think that's my only complaint of this game, is that you can miss things very easily. And, well... Hold on. Is that storage room? Door still locked. Do we have a key? We do not. So, whatever we need is in that storage room. So, we have a storage room key. We gotta get... Nothing unusual here. Thank you. It's a cross. Brave hero. So all we got left is you, ma'am. So... I think we've got the one puzzle left. Which is the wine barrels. So yeah, there is a, there is a hint system. But... Interesting. Okay. Monocle on. And the question is, do I need multiple? The weird thing is, you got all these different crowns, all these different styles. And I have no idea what's going on here. Could that be a clue? I'm missing something. Now, we may have to pause here, and I may have to come back to this. So just give me a second. And we'll do that. So, ba ba ba. That's an angle. 
That sounds so strange. There is a pattern. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. Oh, oh, okay. What the frick? Okay. So, yeah, apparently... Ugh, God, I... <laughs> See, this is what I hate. I, I love this about puzzles, and I also hate this about puzzles, is that... You can get a good idea of something. A real good idea. Then... Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, what's it? The bronze medallion. Interesting. So, now I think we're actually reaching the point where we're going to be in the last. Medallion. And, well, process of elimination. After placing medallions, the mechanism was activated in the center of the room. fuck is going on here? Okay, let, give me one second here. Investigation Report 5. Dark Red Blood. After several years of investigation and experimentation, I have finally succeeded. I've managed to synthesize a serum by combining the properties of the life enzyme isolated from a jellyfish, the selective regeneration gene from a salamander, and the blood of some test subjects. I have been able to show how the half-life of the serum improves considerably as younger test subjects are used, which results in a darker shade of red in the serum. I have started the next stage of the clinical trials with the vermilion and carmine formulations. Very soon, I will start testing a new hypothesis. I am the Keymaster. It, what, what? it seems that the mysterious legacy of Mr. Strange has led to the recent uncanny disappearances. Oh. Uh, uh, Mr. Strange, what the heck? Okay. List of test subjects for Vermilion Formula. Subject name... Age range results. Roger Brown, Brown, 20 to 30. Suitable for the next stage. Marcus Benton, 30 to 40. Unsuitable. Dead after a few hours. Agatha Howells, 30 to 40. Death in 3 hours, 22 minutes. William Johnson, 40 to 50. Unsatisfactory results. Death. Unknown male, 50 to 60. Sudden death. Vermilion formula found to be more harmful to elder test subjects. What's this? The Victorian Post. Mysterious murder. The victim was identified as Stephen Slavko, a famous scientist of Serbian origin. Investigators are gathering information to clarify whether this murder is related to the strange disappearance in recent months. Now, I could go down here. But we got a storage box. 
on the top floor. We got a storage room key. And you know me. I do apologize if you didn't hear some noise. I had to turn off a fan. I thought it would, had already turned it off. But I wanted to get into this mystery, my friends. To solve it and help you out. In exploring this mansion. Hopefully it won't cause too much troubles. But we'll see. But yeah. Storage room. Storage room key. Master of unlocking! Ha ha ha! So I've unlocked every door in the house. Family portraits are painted to remove the youngest member of the family. Oh. Small bronze key. Unless Zo. Remember her name. Oh, it's one of these. Hold on. Hold on. Remember her name. Remember her name. Remember her name. Remember her name. I know a name. I know a name. I know a name. If we go in here and interact, Camille, C A M I L L E. So, C A M I L L E, Camille. It's a little revolving. C. Is it better to go that way or this way? All right. I got it. L L and last one is letter E. What the hell? Camille Strange blood sample? What the frickin' frack? Small glass out with the blood Camille Strange. Still very interesting. Okay. So we still gotta go downstairs. We got the last zoentrope disc. So we should probably do both of those. Open that door. Move on around. Go into the secret room number one. Hey, film precursor. Someone on a horse, okay. A person. So, dress, gloves, person. Hmm. Well. We've gotten all that stuff. I guess the only thing left is to go deeper inside. Alright. In we go. In we go. In we go. Down. Waha. Yeah, we're going to have to go deeper down. You. The offspring isn't. Oh, we need blood. Oh my god, we need blood.
And that's not all the blood we need. Oh no, we need more blood. We got Camille's. Also got a small bunch of, a jewelry. Wait, 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 wait. A jewelry box. Jewelry box. Jewelry box. Jewelry box. I remember seeing a jewelry box somewhere. Where was it? Where was it? Where was that jewelry box? That's not it. Yeah. Okay, come on. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Jewelry box. Jewelry box. Jewelry box. Where is that jewelry box? Not you. Not you. Not you. Ah, <sighs> jewelry box, jewelry. How am I going to finish the gala banquet if that incompetent blur doesn't give me the wine bottles Marion would reveal in time? That's why the mystery ensures the basement of wine cellar to that trickster James. Surely he's the one who would. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, not, that's nothing. There is a jewelry box somewhere, and we've got to find it. Where is that jewelry box? Tape measure. So, we're going to have to do this. We're going to go through all these rooms looking for a jewelry box that probably somewhere in plain sight no not you not you where is that jewelry box where oh where is that jewelry box suck where is my popsicle? But anyhow. Uh, yeah, we found the third one. Eureka, no, 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 no. Maybe in the, the twins' room? Guy was working on his own kids. Bingo bongo. We go. <sighs> oh, that's what you are. Maya and Mia. This one's so basic. God. Oh, I hope there's not one for Nicholas. But if it's the twins' blood, ah, oh, God, this is going to be really. I. Miami is strange. Okay. You tell me, Bear! I knew it. The guy was look, working on his own kids. What the hell? What the hell, man? The question becomes is that all there is, or there's one for Nicholas? Because there are technically four kids. The twins count as one. Ah, false balls. Ah. What if 
the other ones related to that zoo entropy thing. So there is that one puzzle with a zoo entropy disc. We're filling up with blood. We need one more, and I think there's only one other room. Unless there's something hidden here. No, there's not. So I think we've got a puzzle to solve in the mystery room. So let's go to the mystery room. Mystery room, he's with his kids. Oh my god, he get tested on his kids. Da, 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 da. We got all the discs, so what is Could this be it? Why wonder? And So, what is the purpose of this? What is the purpose? What is the purpose? Oh my god! Oh, I'm an idiot! Glove! I am an idiot. I am an idiot. Dress. No, we want you. Let me get this thing off. I have a feeling it is N. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. N. I. C C C C C C Nick Oh Oh I think that's an H Actually hold on there's a there's a way to find out Yeah N I C H O L A S because it's each kid's name A A A Huh? Well, uh, yeah, Nicholas. Oh. Q, not... Yeah, okay. Fuh. All right. Stupid me. I mistook a Q for an O. All right, we've got the last bit of blood. Here we go. Oh, da, 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 da. My former employer was a mad scientist. Eugenicist sitting on his own little kids. Looking for the secret of life. Oh, God, that's not good. That is not good. That is not good. Good, sir. That is not good. You don't do this experiment on your kids. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Why do the kids have to do anything there? Alright. Equip. 
Last bit of blood. What? Oh my. Don't tell me I'm going to take up the business of his. What? What? Take an object to make a choice. Destroy the flat machine? What? Okay, destroy. Wait, I'm missing a page. I'm missing a... Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, okay. Before we go. Crimson Formula. Re investigation report number six. Eureka! I have managed to synthesize a formula that completely stops cell aging. The Crimson Formula. The cost has been very high. I have had to make an immeasurable sacrifice for our family, but it has been necessary to take the next great step for humanity. It has been difficult for the rest of the family to understand, but it is really simple. She has not died. She will now live eternally as part of us. She has given us the gift of eternal life. And her inheritance for the world is the perpetuation of the lineage of a family that will forever change the destiny of humanity. <whistles> this guy's a little crazy. The Vita Camera. Report... Research Report 7. You have come very far. You have earned a role in the history of mankind. Our bodies must remain in suspended animation for 100 years within the Vita Chambers to complete the cellular transmutation process and attain eternal life. I decided to grant you the privilege of becoming the heir to the mansion and the keeper of the chambers. Along with this letter, you will find a dose of the Crimson Formula that will allow you to live long enough to fill this last mandate. Once our transmutation process is finished, you will have the opportunity to use one of the cameras and achieve immortality like us. Okay, so... Take an object to make it destroy a choice. Use it, or lose it. I really... I mean, look guys, I could probably do both endings, but... I'm of the mind that... He does not deserve to do that. Yep, I'm smashing it. I'm mad. And there you go. Age fast, old man. <laughs> Take that. I always wanted to do that. I know it's a little cliche to pull out that one bit from Clue, but I had to. We're in a manner. We're having all these clues and puzzles assembled. Besides, as you know, there are two endings to this game. And we did the one with where we, I went with my gut and went smashy smashy. Now, we're going to have a better fun, and we're going to see what happens if we actually play into this guy's craziness and take the serum. And yes, thanks to the magic of a transition and a little self-righteous uh, admonition, we're back here at the door. Along with blood. That's right, we have blood. We have 
Kid Blood one, Kid Blood two, and Kid Blood three. So let's let's get this, let's feed this thing. In it goes. What's too liquidy? What did he do to keep that blood so fluid? I mean. And here we go. Last blood! And mixes. Why I mixes, I have no idea. That just seems like it's wasting some blood. And once again. This guy decided to do Steve Rogers for Steve Rogers existed. Poor kid. Like I said, last time I went smashy smashy. This time, so we get both insight, we're gonna go... We're gonna give ourselves some of the serum. And here we go. Ooh, that's good blood. Oh, don't smile about that. And that is the end. I kind of like the smashy one myself, personally. Okay, as soon as this goes up, we're gonna hit... We're gonna push the button here. Just give me a second here. I'm going to push the button now. Just gonna let Mr. Averis proceed upward. So here we go, and boop. And that's it. So there's. I'm gonna do a little bit of a review of this game afterwards. So. I'm going to stop playing the video right now, and you'll see me shortly. So, my review of Inheritance of Crimson Manor. It was an enjoyable puzzle thing. I a lot of very interesting and unique puzzles. Got my brain pumping. I mean, I had some complaints about it. I mean, no game is perfect. And I guess my big complaint was there's not a lot of intuitiveness for some of these puzzles until you actually see it. I mean, you have to have your brain click together for this. Um, you probably saw toward the end of this video, I started using the hint button a little more than I should have. But it was more of, I just didn't know what to do. Secondly, uh, I mean, this is great. It's lovely story, interesting story, very creepy very Victorian, but it just, to me, it feels like, I don't know, something more could have happened, but for what they did, it's a good two-hour game. I mean, I'm not asking for something like missed level of puzzle solving, but I had a lot of fun, and it was an engaging story at the end, and hey, they gave us two endings, and it was all nicely done. So, if you enjoyed this, give a like. You can subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to force you, my lovelies. And thank you for joining me in this little adventure of ours. See you in the next game. Bye-bye.